Hello and thank you for joining me, Kate May Modern Day Mystic, on my YouTube channel. We are looking at the Tarot Scopes for June and we are looking at Aquarius now. So let's see what the vibe is for Aquarians this month. This is an interesting one for me because obviously it's my partner is an Aquarius. So let's see if his energies match mine. As you start the beginning of the month there, oh, we've got the Three of Swords. The beginning of this month, Aquarians, you might find that there is some disappointment. You might find that there is some heartache or some losses going on around you. This could just be emotional things coming up for you that need, now need to be released. We're coming into the full moon tomorrow, so it could just be the energy around you is shifting and you're feeling quite prickly there. Sometimes this card can come in with blood tests. I'm not going to go down the health road there. Um, or that you could be looking at ways to improve your health. Whatever this card reflects around you, it, it's about releasing, not holding on to things. So letting go, but also sharing the burden. If you find, Aquarians, that you're feeling a bit low, that you're feeling a bit disjointed, you need to be sharing it with people, not suffering on your own or struggling on your own. It's only a minor card, though, so it isn't something that, that necessarily needs to be big in your life. It could just be something little that's a bit of a pain there or a bit of a disappointment but you're now uh, able to start releasing it recognizing it and, and releasing it and you know this full moon could bring up something of, of a little prickly area for you that there's this release coming from it as you move into the middle of the month though it's another sword so another air sign like yourself uh, it's asking you to use your logic which you're good at you're good at detaching yourselves uh, Aquarians. So again, it's asking you to detach yourself emotionally, use your logic, use your head, and be wise to the choices that you've got coming in. Now, you might find that you are having to counsel yourself or counsel others at the moment, um, and this detachment is, is extremely important around you at the moment. Um, it's As a person coming in, there's somebody who's smart, intelligent, logical, somebody who can give you good advice. They're not, they haven't got that emotional connection to you, so therefore they're able to give a good advice there. So you could be looking for counsel. So you could be looking for uh, a possibly doctors come in with both of these to me as a consultant. There could be some news around you to do with doctors or consultants there. But a good sound advice. So listen to any advice that you'll be getting as you come into the middle part of June. But also take your own sound advice as well with that logic and intellect. For me, this normally brings good news that there is a help coming to be able to help the situation heal. Now, let's hope we get a better one for you at the end. How do you, how do, good, as you come into the end of June, you've got the planning card. Now, this was chosen for our daily card today on, the, on my live. The planning card says that from this, you're going to be able to start working your way forward. You're going to be able to look ahead to the future. Things are going your way. Things are much more favourable as you come to the end of June. And you're going to be able to start planning creative ventures, planning new things, possibly planning trips. You do like your travel Aquarians. Possibly planning more ventures overseas there but definitely you're going to be in, in the where the the uh, energy is planning steps planning the next way and with a positive influence as well it's indicating that you're in a good position to start planning now so ha you know by the end of the month things definitely look like they're improving for you all minor cards though not major cards so just day-to-day -day things to to think about there all right if you'd like to book a full reading, you can contact me on www.katemay.co.uk. Have a lovely June.